Chapter 17, God of the Underworld Pluto, terrestrial Jove, thy sacred ear incline, and pleased accept thy mystic's hymn divine. Earth's keys to thee, illustrious king, belong, its secret gates unlocking, deep and strong. Hymn to Pluto from dark ages, under the rule of the Roman Catholic Church, to modern-day pop culture, the prevailing image of a ruler of the underworld is that of a hideous beast man with red skin and horns. He has become the source of all that is evil. But this is not how this god was seen by our ancient forebearers. In fact, the god of the underworld is often one of the three main gods, or trinity. In Greece, they were three brothers. Zeus ruled the sky, Poseidon ruled the water and land, and Hades ruled the underworld. Rather than having a grotesque form, Hades looked similar to his brothers, a bearded, distinguished ruler. For many cultures, he was respected as the lord of his domain, and sacrificed to. Just as the god of storms needed to be appeased, one would want to stay on the good side of the god of death and disembodied souls. This is the view of the descendants of the Inca, who celebrate the god Supai yearly with parades in the street while dressed in devil masks. The land of the dead often carries the same name as the god or goddess that rules it. Hades rules in Hades, and the Norse goddess Hel rules in Hel. The word Hel originally meant hall, as in the great halls of the underworld where the goddess Hel was appointed by Odin to be the hostess. It was not a place set apart for evildoers, but the common location for people who die. If one were to die in war, however, they would go to Valhalla, the drinking hall of Odin. Hel was the daughter of the trickster god Loki, which fact links her to other underworld goddesses. Ereshkigal was the goddess of the underworld according to the Sumerians. She was the granddaughter of Enki through Ningal and the moon god. Her abode could be called by her name and therefore to go to Ereshkigal, just like to go to Hel, would simply mean to die. Ereshkigal means queen of the great earth. She is also called Ninkigal great lady of earth. It is curious that her name refers to the earth rather than below it. The land of the dead was called Kur, which had many meanings. Kur could mean the Zargos Mountains east of Sumer and part of present-day Iraq. In fact, Iraq comes from Eresh. But Kur could also mean foreign land or mountain. When Inanna, lady of the sky, went to the land of Ereshkigal to gain power there, she came down from the sky. This myth is called Inanna's descent into the underworld. But the question is, under what? Our earth may be the underworld for the gods. That is just one way to look at it. Kur was later called Irkala, which was a cavern under the Zargos Mountains. Irkala had an entrance of seven gates. Another later myth has Ereshkigal married to the god of war, Nergal. We have mentioned the myth of Ninlil staying in Kur, where Enlil would come down to breed with her. One of their subsequent sons was Nergal. Ninlil went down to the kingdom of Ereshkigal after her rape by a god. Similarly, the Greek goddess Persephone went to live with Hades after her rape. The Maori god Tane created a wife for himself from the red earth. Together they had a daughter, who Tane also took as a wife, named Hine Nui Tepo, Great Woman of Night. She felt ashamed that her husband was also her father, so she left to become the ruler of the underworld. Tane went after her, but she told him to return to the upper world to raise their children until she would receive them in the world below. The Sumerian creator of humans was Enki, who also married his daughter and grandfathered Ereshkigal. Enki himself can be seen as an underworld god. His name means Earth Lord, and he ruled the underworld freshwater called the Apsu. The lord of the watery underworld in Slavic myth is called Veles. In many ways, Veles resembles the Greek god Pan. He rules the earth, waters, forests, and the underworld. He is also associated with animals, music, magic, and trickery. Veles has been compared to the Vedic and Avestan god Mitra, as well as the Norse god Loki. I will add to that list the Sumerian god Enki. Mara is the goddess of death in Buddhism, Hinduism, Slavic, and Latvian mythologies. In Buddhism, she is responsible for keeping people in the cycle of death and rebirth on earth. She sent earthly temptations to distract the Buddha while he was meditating under the Bodhi tree. The Slavic countries also associate her with death and rebirth. Every spring, she is celebrated with effigies and processions. Variations of Mara's myth and name span all of the Indo-European lands.
Being a symbol of the underworld and the death that accompanies the winter months, Mara's story links with that of Persephone and other death-rebirth gods like Adonis, Demuzid, Tammuz, Balder, etc. Isis is the queen of the underworld in Egyptian mythology. Her husband, Osiris, is a dying, resurrecting god associated with agriculture like Demuzid, but he rules the underworld with Isis. In more ancient times, the underworld was ruled by the dog-headed god Anubis. The queen of the underworld in Shinto mythology is Isanami. She once ruled the heavens as a creator mother goddess with her husband Izanagi, but she died while giving birth to the god of fire and went to the land of the dead to rule there. Other underworld goddesses that resemble Ereshkigal are the Canaanite Arce, the Babylonian Alatu, and the Persian Alatum. Alat was the goddess worshipped in Mecca before Islam took over. She was the wife or daughter of Allah, which links her to Elat and Asherah. These links make the goddess of the dead a very important wife of a high god. Like the death goddess Kali, who came to be associated with being the mother of all, the Vedic goddess Danu ruled the primordial abyss and is the mother of a race of gods called the Danavas. Danu is also the name of the Celtic goddess, who is the mother of the Tulta de Danan. She was Dan in Wales. The root of this name is found in river names like Dan, Danube, and in country names like Denmark, and tribal names like the Danites of the Hebrew tribe of Dan. The Celts had another god named Don who ruled Ekduin, the land of shadows, where the dead went. The Persian god Yima built an underworld, but it was for the living. Yima was the first mortal to die and enter the other world where he receives departed souls. His Hindu counterpart is called Yama. Like Hades and Hell, Yama has two hounds that guard the entrance to the land of the dead, which is called Naraka. The hellhounds are found in many myths. Hades has Cerberus, Hell has Fenrir, etc. In Buddhism, Yama lives in Naraka, where he officiates as judge of the dead and as one of the wrathful deities. In the Christian Bible, it is Satan who is cast down to the earth. It is also said that he rules in Hell, where bad souls go after death. But this function on earth is that of a partner with Yahweh. In the book of Job, we find a sort of judiciary structure where Job is the defendant, Yahweh is the judge, and Satan is the prosecutor. Satan means adversary or accuser in Hebrew. Job's friends are a jury that condemn him to death. But after the trial, Yahweh declares Job to be innocent. Just as Zeus and Hades have different leadership roles, so do Yahweh and Satan. Observe the words from Job. Now there was a day when the sons of the gods came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan also came among them. Yahweh said to Satan, From where do you come? Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, From roaming about on the earth and walking around on it. Yahweh said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? For there is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man. Job 1, 6-8 Yahweh gives Satan the task of testing Job's loyalty, and Satan carries out his duties. It is interesting to note that Satan was among the heavenly hosts, and that he was walking on the earth rather than beneath it. Another that is called Lord of the Earth by Theosophists is Sanat Kumara. In Hinduism, he resides in the center of the earth in Shambhala and comes to the surface at times for specific purposes. In Theosophy, Shambhala is a flying city above the earth for the Ascended Masters, or Council of the Gods, also called the City of Enoch. Helena Blavatsky identified Samat Kumara and those that came to earth with him from Venus as Lucifer and the Fallen Angels. She called them the Lords of the Flame. He has also been linked to the Ancient of Days, Brahma, Buddha, Ahura Mazda, Maitreya, Christ, and al -Qadir. One more interesting Lord of the Earth before we move on is Melek Taus. His name means Peacock Angel. The Yazidi religion has been persecuted by Islam because of their veneration of him. You see, in the Quran, Satan is called Iblis, and he disobeyed Allah by refusing to bow to Adam. That is how he fell. The Yazidi myth of Melek Taus is the same, except that in the end, rather than being punished for refusal to bow, Melek Taus was blessed to be the ruler over earth. Thus, the Yazidi have been called devil worshippers. The peacock angel is one of seven angels that came from God, and it is believed that he said, I was present when Adam was living in paradise, and also when Nimrud threw Abraham in the fire. I was present when God said to me, You are the ruler and Lord on the earth. 
God, the compassionate, gave me seven earths and the throne of heaven. Gods of the underworld, India, Yama, Persia, Yima, Sumeria, Ugalana, Babylon, Ninurta, Canaan, Mot, Arabia, Nasser, Judea, Satan, Azazel, Samael, Lucifer, Uriel, Hurrians, Nergal, Turkey, Lilwani, Slavic, Velas, Lithuania, Pekols, Greece, Hades, Rome, Pluto, Etruscan, Aita, Celtic, Don, Norse, Hel, Egypt, Osiris, Anubis, Nigeria, Babalu, Ai, Igbo, Ogbunabali, Chile, Peripillan, Peru, Supai, Yucatan, Uncame, Aztec, Mictlantecutli, North America, Masauu, Arctic Circle, Pana, Mongolia, Erlik, Arsan Duolai, China, Klingyan, Sitigarba, Japan, Izanami, Australia, Bayame, New Zealand, Wiro, Hawaii, Kaho Ali'i.